I want to first of all thank you for making the move down here. Um, and uh, again, for our, the great opportunity to be in this wonderful space uh, from the Hearst, uh, at the Hearst Tower. And uh, to really to, to um, turn this show over to another one of our interludes. So we wanted to slip that, um, that little video in because it was on your schedule and we wanted you to see it because we thought it was an important piece. But at this point, I actually want to invite up uh, Jonathan Halperin, who's from Designing Sustainability, is a filmmaker, a communicator, and has got a really interesting story uh, and clip to show us uh, about leadership and change. Most of the time when we think about whether it's investments or how, long, how old a cow is before it goes to market or business planning cycles. So if we take this little piece of rice, I have a real one, you all have imaginary ones. And if we think of one grain of rice as a year, and we start making a little trail that goes up the aisle past Joseph, it takes about one aisle to go about 96 years, so the depth of a couple of feet. And 96 years is about all as a single individual that we can experience personally, and if we live to be 96, right? And if you go a little bit further, we hear stories, family, multiple generations, etc. But if you keep going with our little imaginary trail of rice, not just one aisle, but two or three, and then you actually keep going out the door. And we wind our way to Columbus Circle. It takes us down to about 37th Street before we get back to where the edge is, not of our individual experiences, but about 200,000 years ago when we became a species, Homo sapiens, stood erect and started walking around. That's a different time scale than we're used to, right? If you keep going, and you want to go back, say, to when fish showed up on the planet. We all eat fish, maybe cook fish, use fish. About 500 million years takes us to Sacramento with our little stream of rice that's one year each. That's a really long time. But if you keep going further, you get back into geologic time, when the Earth was created about 4 billion years ago. That takes little rice end-to-end -end going around the equator of the entire Earth. It's a time scale that's very different that we're not generally accustomed to. The, the key, and you'll see this in the film, of expanding how we think about time is that those forces of nature, geologic time, things that happen in evolutionary time, they don't care about us at all. They don't think about us, they don't know about us, they don't care what happens to us. And it's precisely because they don't that we need to care about those systems, to understand them, and to make sure that we protect and preserve them. We're all dependent upon them, whether we're chefs or whatever it is that we're doing. And I think although there are many individual leaders already in this space here to, at this conference, there's room, there's both room and huge need for leadership not just at the table and not even from table back to farm, but from farm back to landscape and landscape back to ecosystem. And I think part, a key part of leadership is being able to effectively take knowledge, communicate it to inspire action. I hope you find some inspiration in this short clip from Hope in a Changing Climate. Thank you.